What's happening folks, Brandon here, Xbox editor at IGN, and it's springtime, which means that it's time to update our biannual list of the top 25 games you can play on your Xbox One. Now, if you've just picked up an Xbox One or you've had one for a while and are just looking for something new to play, these are the games we Xbox fans here at IGN recommend. So let's get into it. This is our list of the best 25 Xbox games you can play right now. Everything about Firewatch is brilliant. The naturally written characters, the use of humor, sadness, drama, and tension, the bold and colorful Ali Moss art style, the remarkable voice acting, and so much more. Firewatch is like a great book in that you won't be able to put it down and it'll stick with you for a while after you're done. Dead Cells fuses breakneck motion with an emphasis on risk versus reward, and it's rewarding in its flexibility in a way few games are. Each easily digestible run through its beautifully detailed levels goads you to push the limits and crushes you when you get too comfortable. Now there are layers of strategy and tactics in your immediate choices and in the grander metagame, making it one of the very best action platformers you can play and it's still being expanded with free updates. Overwatch is an incredible achievement in multiplayer shooter design and years later, it's still great. It weaves almost perfectly between being the quick fix adrenaline hit you might want after a long day of work and the thoughtful strategic multiplayer experience that becomes the center of evening long binges with friends. Ori harkens back to the glory days of Xbox Live by delivering challenging platformer gameplay wrapped in an absolutely beautiful aesthetic. Seriously, it's gorgeous. And it's topped by a sweet, somber story starring an adorable little hero. It'll test your will at times, but it's well worth it. The Master Chief Collection got off to a rocky start way back in 2014, but this collection of the first four mainline Halo shooters is amazing for those campaigns alone, particularly the completely remastered Halo 2 anniversary. But since 343 has fixed the issues with its multiplayer suite and updated the complete package to add new features, enhancements, playlists, and a new overall level of enhanced polish, Halo The Master Chief Collection is an absolute must-own that just keeps getting better, especially as we wait for Halo Infinite. Dark Souls 3 is an amazing, tough as nails, and dangerous dose of what From Software does best. Since Sekiro Shadows Die Twice just came out, we had a tough time deciding which FromSoft game to recommend. Both Dark Souls 3 and Sekiro scored a 9.5 from us, but we gave the edge to Dark Souls 3 thanks to its dark gothic atmosphere and its grand sense of scale. The rewards for exploring the Kingdom of Lothric make it difficult to pull away from. Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice is a masterclass of atmosphere, storytelling, and the marriage of mechanical and conceptual design. The care and attention Ninja Theory has clearly poured into Senwa and her story has created something amazing. Hellblade's beautiful presentation and dense story reinforces its serious subject matter in this vivid tale of harrowing darkness. Monster Hunter World taps the vein of that incredible action RPG power climb against complex, mysterious, and utterly massive monsters. It's a world that feels alive thanks to the incredible attention to detail in the varied environments and the beasts themselves, and just when you think you've conquered it, there's always something left to chase down thanks to constant developer support and an upcoming expansion. After years in development hell, the 2016 edition of Doom has absolutely no business being as good as it is. Thing is, it's not just good, it's one of the best single player shooters in years. It successfully modernized the fast paced carnage of the original game without losing its spirit. And let's face it, turning demons into pulp is just plain fun. Cuphead's brilliance goes much deeper than its hand-drawn 1930s style cartoon aesthetic. It also happens to be one of the best bullet hell shooters in years with precision controls, incredible challenge, and genius easter eggs like a black and white mode. Resident Evil 2 sets a new benchmark for bringing a classic game back to modern standards. This isn't just a remaster or a re-release. It's the 1998 classic horror game rebuilt with 2019 sensibilities. It doesn't look, sound, or play old in any way. It's simply a whole bunch of zombies and horrors spread across two great campaigns. There are a lot of open world RPGs out there today, but Assassin's Creed Odyssey is an achievement in world building, environment, and engaging gameplay. Its adventure through ancient Greece is a gorgeous thrill to explore, and while there are definite rough edges, Odyssey is the new gold standard for Assassin's Creed as the best the series has ever been. Titanfall 2 delivered the key things the original failed to, an outstanding single-player campaign, and some meat on Titanfall's strong but otherwise skinny multiplayer bones. 
Titanfall 2's multiplayer is a bigger, better version of the original, but that campaign is one of the best you'll find in a shooter this generation on the back of its smart design with a ton of variety. Gears 4 delivered an excellent campaign filled with exciting moments and likable characters. Its versus mode multiplayer is still totally fun, and the series' groundbreaking horde mode was revamped, making it better than ever. It struck just the right balance of nostalgia and advancement. Where some other franchises struggle to maintain their identity within a sandbox, Metal Gear Solid 5 thrives on it, turning all that open space into a tactical espionage playground. It hands you a useful set of weapons, gadgets, and support abilities that all come into play in the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay, empowering you to execute a plan your way. If you play smart, you'll find Metal Gear Solid 5 incredibly rewarding. Lara Croft's first post-reboot sequel in Rise of the Tomb Raider raises the bar for the entire action-adventure genre. Freeform exploration sections plus a thorough crafting and an XP system mean you've always got a new goal in mind. Now combine that with Rise's gorgeous set pieces and compelling human story, and you get one of the most complete, top-to-bottom excellent games on Xbox One. Sunset Overdrive's colorful art style is gorgeous. Its sense of humor is hilariously self-aware. Its traversal trumps almost every other open world game, which makes its missions feel fresh and varied, even though they're really not. In short, Sunset Overdrive is pure, highly caffeinated fun. One who doesn't just survive, but does it this time. With Devil May Cry 5, Capcom proved that it hasn't lost its touch. Few series are better at giving you the tools to be creative in combat, and DMC5 is the best yet. It's one of the deepest combat systems you'll find, and its new mechanics and characters only serve to sweeten the pot. The Witness is more than just a gorgeous island littered with hundreds of puzzles. It's a labyrinth of mysteries waiting to be solved as you learn more and more about the enigmatic island. Seemingly confounding puzzles challenge us to take a step back and explore the world to understand new rules. And when we did, we always found something new to enjoy. Apex Legends. It improves upon the standard battle royale mechanics to make this shooter one of the best, if not the best, in the hugely popular genre. Its charming and unique characters are an excellent spin on the blank canvases we usually have, and all those characters' abilities bring something useful to a three-person squad. Apex strikes the right balance of being completely accessible if you don't normally play battle royales, with an incredibly high skill ceiling, so there's always something to improve on. And thanks to developer response communication and game updates, Apex Legends should continue to grow for years to come. Oh yeah, it's absolutely free. The Witcher 3 is a remarkable feat of open world design savvy, and one of my personal favorite games of all time. Its main sandbox areas are beyond massive, but their density actually matches their breadth. You can't go anywhere within its gorgeous landscapes without running into things to do. And the best part is that almost every point of interest you come across ties back into its incredibly deep lore, providing motivation and context for its deep RPG systems and its brutal combat. As the only racing game on our list, Forza Horizon 4 isn't just the best Forza game ever made, it's one of the greatest car games of all time. Its focus on fun and driving rather than hardcore simulation takes you throughout all four seasons of a fictionalized and beautiful Great Britain. It's converted people who don't typically play racing games into fans, myself included, and its soundtrack is bright, cheery, and bound to put you in a good mood. Even if you don't play racers, you should definitely give Forza Horizon 4 a shot. It may be the same core game that came out on Xbox 360 back in 2014, but that doesn't make GTA V any less incredible. In fact, the Xbox One edition of Grand Theft Auto V earns extra points for taking an already huge, deep game and adding more soundtrack songs, more props to cutscenes, more vehicles, and, best of all, an incredible first-person mode that makes the already seminal GTA V feel like a completely different game from its original release. And you can prolong your stay in its giant online multiplayer sandbox where just about anything goes. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. The non-sequel follow-up to the Sublime Limbo took six years to make, and it looks like five of those were spent on polish. Every pixel, animation, ray of light, and audio cue feels considered, not to mention the puzzles themselves. Inside won't strain your brain too hard, but its impactful non-verbal story will leave you contemplating what it all means for days after you finish it. Inside is simply unforgettable and should not be missed. Surprise, surprise, another Rockstar game in the top three. That's probably because the developer continues to redefine the standards of an open world game from every perspective, technical, story, and online. Red Dead Redemption 2's Old West is no exception, with excellent writing and voice acting and the many characters that make up its 40 to 50 hour campaign. And even though Red Dead Online is currently still in beta, it offers a tantalizing glimpse of the large scale online interactions that await us. 
Red Dead Redemption 2 is a generational accomplishment. It'll remain one of the very few games we talk about first and foremost when looking back on the Xbox One generation. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. So there you go. The 25 Xbox One games we think you should check out first if you're picking up the console. If we missed any or you have a personal favorite, let us know in the comments. And look out for our next update in the fall of 2019. And in the meantime, for all things Xbox, you are already in the right place right here at IGN.